shelter has been there about 1980. Okay. Mm -hmm. All these hikers are walking north. Right, this is RPH shelter, Ralph's Peak Hikers. So these people are staying at the shelter. It's been old Ralph. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, maybe they move in next door. Hey, this is a great location. Mr. and Mrs. Smith, that figures, because those people are always a problem. Yeah, right. Uh, or the Joneses move in. The Joneses. That's yeah, right. that's a generic name for the Troublemakers. People. Right, exactly. So they move in, everything's hacky dory. All of a sudden, over the years. Isn't there a song about Mrs. Jones? Me and Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones. This guy said, see, they're, they're trouble. That's what the song is about. And of course, there's that thing everybody says, keep it up with the Joneses. Right, exactly. So honestly, Edith, Edith, Wharton, Wharton, Edith Wharton's original name if was only, Jones. If only it was known. That is true. Oh, I'm sorry, did I interrupt you? Yeah, you went oh, back to the original story. Go on. So what happens after a while, we get all these hikers, you know, or the people, the people who live in the surrounding area are all happy. Are you keeping this concise? Because we want to keep yeah. this concise and informative. They're all happy. Everybody's there. All of a sudden, <gasps> bikers start going up. The number is starting to increase. You're setting the uh, like a master storyteller, Tim Ooh. sets the stage with Ooh. theatrics. Then what happens? The people next door don't like it anymore. There's too many of them, and they're scary. They're smelly people and they well, don't wash. <laughs> the smelly Ooh. part, I can sympathize with the smelly part, but the scary part, I, you know, I, I don't know. And then, what happens? They find something on the road of a supposed legal nature. Mm -hmm. We need organ music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He says, we're going to scare away all these people. We're going to put up no parking signs so no one can park there anymore <clears throat> but we've been doing this for 30 years collusion yeah together. there's a lot of collusion going on they're all collusion just right like, here in town right here in town not even uh, in washington yeah. dc they're all happy happy friendly friendly people call that local collusion local collusion That's exactly the call it. therefore you can't park on the road anymore no parking because chase it away into someone else's neighborhood and let them deal with it. I thought you were going to keep this concise. It is. And informative. The concise part and informative is we don't like it. We it's never will. And we were not going to put up with it. Eventually, right, so it will change. Maybe I should translate for, Thank you. for, for normal people. So here's the story uh, from a normal point of view. A hypodermic syringe of some type, of unknown type and origin and content, was found on the road, I think, right? right? Near the shelter. And near certain unnamed local nearby neighbors' property lines. So, the, uh, some of the aforementioned neighbors uh, raised a bit of a ruckus, and together, in some collusive, is collusive a word? Yeah, collusive situation. Collusion, collusive? A collusive situation uh, erupted. That's right. That's right. good, right? That is correct. A collusive situation erupted whereupon. That's a good word. Too. Whereupon. A collusive situation erupted whereupon uh, they, uh, the um, county highway the feller, town, town highway, highway guy, supervisor, uh, brought some boulders in and used them to block uh, access, parking access on the side of the road to the shelter, which has been available literally ever since it was, it was there. Right. You know, the hikers on various um, functions, uh, you know, annual and monthly, weekly functions, different things, the club, Tim has the club, different things they do there, that people would park there. Um, it's not easy sometimes to park inside the shelter for a variety of reasons. Now, the shelter has been, I won't say plagued, plagued isn't the right word, but the shelter has been visited with vandalism on occasion. That is correct. And uh, it seems unlikely that the majority of vandalism and distress is caused by the hikers, because they're, you know, most of them aren't like that, and they're using this facility. Yeah, they're not going to vandalize some place they stay. Yeah, there's kids that go down to the water, right. to the bridge over the water, bridge that Tim's Club built with help from hikers and others. You know, and they're they're partying or whatever, they're having a few beers, and most of them don't bother anybody. They're local kids; they're just looking for a place to hang out and have a beer or whatever, and they go about their business. They're probably drinking semi-responsibly, like the trucks, the sign of the truck says. Yes. But 
somewhere along the line, you know, you always get a few bad eggs. And they've had some instances where the shelter's been damaged, things have been torn up and ripped up and banged up and whatnot. So, this shelter, see, the thing with this shelter is for you hiker folks out there, uh, uh, is that it's got a lot of neighbors. Oh, yes. Oh, to your liver. It's got neighbors close by, and um, a lot of shelters on the AT aren't like that. But in our neck of the woods here in the Northeast, in New York State, uh, quite a good deal of the AT actually runs either right by people's backyards or nearby. The road That's crossers? the, as Tim likes to say, that is the nature of the beast. Actually, it's the nature of geography here, I suppose, really. Yes, absolutely. But, irrespective of that, you know, it's National Park property. Um, so, anyways... When this hypodermic syringe, this supposed hypodermic syringe was found with its uh, uh, increasingly um, suspect owner, you know, I don't, I don't believe any tests were done to see if there was heroin or something in there. I mean, how do we know it wasn't some kind of diabetes medicine or some shit? Or how do we know it wasn't planted there for nefarious reasons? Purposes. Nefarious purposes. And no evidence of that, of course. Right. Because there's apparently no evidence. It was just found and complained about, and then, hold on, no parking signs went up, blah, blah, blah. This makes things a lot harder. Because the aforementioned vandalism on the shelter, they lock the gate that lets people in there. Now, obviously, you can park outside and go in there and cause vandalism. And maybe now that's a little less likely to happen, I suppose. Right. But not necessarily. You know, but it does inconvenience the hikers a lot. Now, how many hikers would you say, Tim, in your uh, professional, right. uh, skillful, and experienced opinion... Professional, skillful, and experienced now, all three. All right. How many pass through, you know, I, I suppose for a year, uh, approximately? Probably a good 2,000 hikers. Okay, 2,000 hikers come through and hit the local economy. Yep. Now, you might be thinking, well, the pizza place gets a boost, and certainly that's true. But there's a lot more to it than that, you know? I mean, there's a lot more to it than that. There's um, The pizza place gets, gets business. The person working the pizza place... The waitress, the all the people, the owners, they all take that money and they pump that back into the economy. That makes a big, huge difference. You know, the neighbors that live there, obviously they have their they have an interest in what's going on. But the point I think the point is I think the point is, first of all, uh, the hypodermic syringe in question is unlikely to have come from a hiker because I'm pretty sure <laughs> that most, I mean, you could probably count on one hand the number of hikers who are hiking the trail and using heroin and some <laughs> yeah. kind of regular, it just seems extremely unlikely, you know? Yeah, you're not going to, you know, let me, uh, uh, let me shoot up here for the next five months while I walk to Maine. It more than All likely right. came from some local person who maybe tossed it out the window of the car as they went by, or maybe they were wandering around. Who knows? I mean, yeah. Who the hell knows? But it's, it's more of a local problem than a national park problem.